Hey everyone, this is Michael Cohen, the Tech Rabbi, and welcome to another technology tutorial. Today we are going to learn some basic fundamentals of the Adobe Illustrator program. I'm using a Mac today, and the purpose of this tutorial is basics of Adobe Illustrator so that you can start etching and cutting on a TroTech laser cutter and etcher. So we're gonna focus on what you need to do in Illustrator to create designs to get to that platform. Once you've created them, you have to export it onto a PC because the printer driver for the TroTech laser is not compatible with Mac. What we're gonna focus on today is we are going to focus on the following challenges of Illustrator, which is the pen tool, the rectangle tool, how to select a shape, how to edit a shape, and how to combine shapes. So we are going to move this to the side and we are going to start working. So if I wanted to use the pen tool, there are a couple of different ways in which I could go about that. And so what I need to do is I need to pull up an image and it really could be any image whatsoever. So I'm literally just gonna pull down this bottle of one of my friends wines that they created so we can give a, a cool shout out to the Shirai wa Shira Wine Company. And what we're going to do is we're going to understand how could I get the curvature of the bottle design using the pen tool. And so what I'll do is I'm going to start down here. I'm going to click here and you'll see you made a point. And without getting into the science of Illustrator, Illustrator is vector based. So between point A and point B, there is infinite space, which means that you could create a shape that can fit on the eraser of a pencil or it could be blown up and put on the side of a 50 story building and you'll never lose quality. Unlike Photoshop, which is pixel based, little squares of color. So if you stretch that square, that's how you get a blurry picture. So what we want to do with the pen tool is we want to be able to create the shape. So if I click here, I made point A, I click here and I made point B because that's a straight line. Now for point C, how am I going to get this curve? Well, what I'll do is I'll go to about here, let's say, and this is something that you only perfect with just experiencing the design program, getting comfortable with it. I'm going to click here and I'm going to hold down on my mouse or my trackpad and I'm going to pull this out and I've created these handles that are coming out of my point and it is deciding the extreme nature of my curve and so I can actually go to about right here and then I have made that shape now if I want to go here it doesn't actually want to do it it's trying to do something kind of crazy with these purple lines so if I click on the point it's called resetting the point and you saw one of those handles disappear. And then I can click, let's say about here, and I can pull, and I'm holding down, nothing fancy, click here again, I'm gonna click there, I'm gonna click there, and let's just say I'm gonna click right here. Now, one of the things that I think is really cool about Illustrator is why make more work than you need to? So because each side of this bottle is symmetrical, I'm only going to go halfway, and then I'm going to literally just make a straight line down the center. If you want to make sure your line is straight, you hold down the shift key. You go right there. You click over here. Maybe you hold it down and make another curve. And then you go over here and you make a little bit of a curve and you are now done. This shape has been completed. The way you complete a shape is to go back to the original point that you started with and click there and you're done. So now I have half a bottle. I'm going to move this to the side and we're going to get back to the side of this bottle later. I'm going to get into the shape tool. So there's a couple shape tools. Little arrow in the bottom corner is going to show you on any of these tools that there is a sub layer. Click and hold down. You have your rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, etc. So we're going to start with the rectangle and we are going to make this rectangle right here. Click on that, make that rectangle, and I want to talk about some of these little symbols that are surrounding and are on top of this shape. So you have this center dot. I love the center dot because you just click it and you can move your shape around and not worried that you're going to click something else and mess something else up. You have these squares on each side, which is going to let you make it a little bigger, a little smaller, pull it from the corner, nothing too crazy. You also have something on this in the um, close to the corner of each side of this shape and if you click on that one time you notice that your 
pointer has a little symbol next to it. And you can now actually hold down and then drag inward to create that rounded look. And then you could do it again. And what you could end up with is, is hopefully uh, something quite nice. Now, once again, if you click on that and you hold down the shift, so you can see it's actually telling you that it's, give, that it's giving you, um, you know, a proper, um, you know, a proper um, curvature. Now, what you can do is you could actually click and hold down shift on each one of these corners and then pull them all at the same time. Because who wants to make corners round perfectly one at a time? That just seems like a recipe for struggle. So that's what we do right there. Now, with the laser cutter etcher, it etches on a black to white grayscale spectrum. So if it's closer to white or closer to black, the darker the burn or the etch is going to be. So what you want to do if you want to etch is you want it to be black. If you don't want it to etch, so then it needs to be white. Or it needs to be actually maybe with no fill because you don't want to fill. Now, over here, you have your color palette. You have your fill color and you have your stroke color. So you can fill with the color, a gradient, or none. And I actually clicked none. Now, if I go to the stroke, I can click the black so that I can at least see it. And now I can go about working with this design. Now this design has nothing in it, so you can't click on it, which is why knowing that that center dot exists for quick selection is really great. Now, com copying an object in Illustrator, you can do it in a couple ways. I'm gonna keep it simple and familiar. Everyone uses Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Command or Control C, and then Command or Control V will copy and paste your design. Now. If you want to change the angle of this, let's say to a 45 degree angle. So you now have this at a 45 degree angle. You can move it over here in some way so that it's going to be um, at, at a proper angle compared to this one. And then you can copy and paste again. And you can actually um, rotate it in a different way. I press the O key, but if you go over here, there's this reflect tool. I love the reflect tool because I'm going to literally just click on this and just hold down shift and drag it, drag my, um, whoops, sorry, well, I'm going to drag and it's going to rotate it. Right? I think that is something that could be helpful. If not, if you really just felt like, oh no, he just gave me this really advanced tool that I'm not ready for, so then you can just rotate this to the opposite of 45 degrees if you know what that is, or hold down shift, and then it will run it to 315 degrees. And then you will be able to move that into place. Now, one of the things about this app is that it has these pink marker tools that are actually showing you how this is going to be symmetrically lined up with another object, right? So you have this over here and you now have this Y shape and you want to cut this out. You're going to cut this out of your material. The problem right now is, is that this is actually a bunch of intersecting pieces. So you have to select these pieces. So you could select them by dragging and selecting. You could select by clicking one, holding down shift, and then clicking them one at a time, however you want to go about it. And we need to combine these shapes. So you'll go to Window, and you'll go to the Pathfinder tool, which is right here. And you'll click that. I already have it over here on my panel. And you have a couple different options. One of the options is to unite your design. So you click on it, and it has united it. And so now it is a solid piece, a solid design, and this thing is ready to go. And so what you're able to do back with this design here is if you duplicate this, right, you can make a bottle out of half a bottle. So you right click on your object and you can actually transform and then reflect it. And then you can preview it and just vertical reflecting it. Right? And that's that tool over here, but I think that tool sometimes is a little bit overwhelming for different people who don't have experience with this design software. So you just move these two together until there's no white line in between. You select both of them. You click on, the, um, on that Unite tool, 
and then you are able to uh, move it down here and it's completely united and um, that's interesting there's a little it was like a hair pin anyway don't worry about that we'll be good there so you're able to um, you know create the the bottle top there let's not focus too much on the detail it works and you now have this design and you have this design so th this is for etching and this is for cutting right and so let's say I'm going to I'm going to shrink this down a little bit and I'm going to duplicate this Right, so I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate Control C, Control V. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to get this bottle out of the way. I'm going to turn it at a 45 degree angle, and I'm going to overlay it here. I'm going to uh, do the same thing again on the other side, and I'm going to um, do that over here. I'm going to line those up. And what we want to just make sure that's happening is we want to make sure that, that everything is symmetrical and that nothing is you know, slightly off. And then what we can do is we can, we can select these and we can duplicate them again, right? So we can do that and then we can select it again and we can duplicate it again and we can move that, you know, move that together and we can select these and we can duplicate it. And then we can add it again over here. And we can add that. And you can just slowly, slowly unite and, and create you know, some pretty, pretty awesome designs. Now, with this design here, as I said before, black is etching. So this isn't gonna cut. If I select this and I change the color to absolute red, which is either at the top or the bottom of the spectrum because Adobe Illustrator is a red spectrum based color scheme. And so there's all the colors of the rainbow, but it goes from red to red. So if I click on red and I click on red and then I go to the top corner here, all the way in the corner, all the way in the corner, what am I going to get? I have to get FF0000. Four zeros, two Fs, four zeros, perfect red, and now I am almost ready to have this shape get cut out. What you have to do is you have to adjust the stroke. So if I go to window and I click on stroke, I now have an option to change the stroke size. I need to select my object and I need to change it from one point to 0 0.072. That's the magic number. Don't ask why. And now this is going to cut out of the material. And if I had this over here, this would actually just etch. Now, if I wanted it to etch and I wanted it to cut, let's say I wanted to do a cool gradient like this, and then I wanna just change the angle of the, of the gradient to something like this, and then I wanna go like that, right? So that was basically click the gradient tool, click on it, it's a gradient. If you can't find that window and you're saying, what is he doing? Go to window, go to gradient, and then you can mess around with the extreme nature of this gradient. I can then go over here, double click. I can create a red, and I'm actually able to then go, once again, 0 0.072. And now, this right here is ready to, there, you can see it. This is ready to get etched and cut, and this right here is just ready to get, uh, get cut out. So that's the basic rundown of Illustrator to learn how to prepare a design by creating it and getting it ready to send it to a Trotec laser cutter and etcher. I can't speak for other brands because I'm not familiar with them, but I have a Trotec Speedy 360 here, and this is another tech tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video valuable, please like it, please subscribe, and please consider sharing it. Have a great day.